Once a thriving market town known for being home to the world's first public railway, the northern English city of Darlington has taken on a new, less fortunate identity as an emblem of Britain's dwindling high street. The local branch of retail institution Marks and Spencers shut a few weeks ago, the latest victim of online competition, rising business rents and stretched household budgets. Darlington's only remaining department store, House of Fraser, was also slated for closure, but has been given a stay of 12 to 18 months. Now a social media campaign backed by the council and some concerned locals hopes to bring customers back to the high street. We need to get the footfall back into the town centre and people need to appreciate what they have actually got instead of thinking that, you know, Max and Spencer's is closed so there's nothing else to go into the town for. We need to shout about what we do have and how long some of the businesses have been trading for. We've got some businesses been trading for well over 100 years in the town. Many of those businesses are here in the town's market, which plans to harness the power of its biggest competitor to survive. A proposed refurbishment will see refrigerated lockers brought in so shoppers can buy from the market stalls online and pick up from the lockers when convenient for them. But market stalwart Robin Blair says it's community attitude that counts the most. The, the people of Darlington are being up because they're losing the facilities in the town centre, but you've got to use them, else you're going to lose them, aren't you? So you've got to, I'm not saying all the time, you don't have to come in every day, to, 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 but you know, you've got to give us a turn and give us a chance to visit the town and, and, and keep these people alive, and it's important. In a bid to curb the decline of the high street, the government is considering a new tax for online giants, and lobby groups are demanding lower levies for properties and free parking. Currently, 15% of Darlington's business premises are lying vacant, and concerns about House of Fraser's long-term prospects remain. But locals here still have hope that a mix of new technology and old-fashioned community spirit could save their high street.